Oh boy. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into this time? Alright guys, it's your boy here. And we are back for another video. Not necessarily a Fire Emblem Heroes video, but a video nonetheless. So, the other night, we had the data mines for the Book 6 Midpoint banner. And pretty good, I mean... I don't think anyone's complaining about the banner. We had some pretty good stuff in there. Letizia is awesome. Embla and Asker, pretty awesome. So, very good things in the name of Fire Emblem Heroes, but <laughs> got Lim Stella as the GHP, and maybe I overstepped boundaries a little bit. So, if we take a look over here, you can see, like, the average likes and dislikes ratio for all my vi well, some recent ones. And typically we get around like 97, 98% likes. And then this one particular video we got still above 90%, which I guess is, <laughs> I should count my lucky stars. But we have quite a substantial number of dislikes on there. Only 13, but usually what happens is we get more likes. So the ratio ends up getting a little bit more balanced out. I I'm guessing certain people watch the video and they didn't like the video but they didn't they were like courteous enough not to hit dislike so they just abstained and didn't hit either button so if you're one of those people then thank you very much for not trying to hurt me but also like not trying to say i was doing any justice or anything okay so what actually happened we go over here A actually it started over here in the trailer video where i was talking about the units so, like I said, we have Letizia, or not Letizia, well, yeah, Letizia's on the banner, but we have Limstella as the GHB, and I made a little joke where I said she is genderless, and I think a lot of people got what I was going for with that joke, but a lot of people also didn't. So, let's see, there, there's a couple of comments, we're going to be looking at comments today. So, let's see, yeah, right here, she has no gender, yeah, that was the joke. So, it's an oxymoron. So, she connotates a gender. And then I'm saying that person has no gender. So, an oxymoron is something that contradicts in a sentence. So, like, if you say two things that are contradictory. So, like, my example, this show here, this little cartoon, Sheep in the Big City. I'm not sure how many of y'all even know what this show is. It's a very old Cartoon Network show, but a lot of the jokes in this show were word plays. And they did a lot of oxymorons, and this is like one of my favorite cartoons. So I made a, what was this, two years ago when Book 4 came out. When we had, you remember that cutscene where we had Alphonse surrounded by like all these skyscrapers. And he got like teleported into the modern world, and he was so out of place. <laughs> like exactly what happens to sheep in the cartoons. So this was the first thing that came to my mind, and I made this little meme here. Alphonse in the big city. So, like, this is my type of humor, like, wordplay humor, funny, like, conjunctions of words and <laughs> using words in funny ways. You guys already know I like to do that a lot, especially with names. I like to say names wrong on purpose to piss people off. So, yeah, like, that's my type of humor, like, wordplay humor. So, when I said she has no gender, the punchline for this was meant to be an oxymoron. So, it's like, I'm saying she has no gender. <laughs> You're supposed to make the assumption that I'm stupid and I, like, misplayed my words there and I got it wrong. The correct way to say that would be they have no gender or Lim Stella specifically has no gender. <laughs> but I, I made it stupid and said she has no gender. So, yeah, you're, you're supposed to, like, right here, why are you saying she when they have no gender? And then he's got the emoji there connotating that he realizes it's a misplay on the words. So let's go ahead and like and thumbs up blah blah's comment there thank you so much by the way for understanding where i was coming from with that joke but not everyone actually got where i was going with it so let's go over here to the actual data mine video and we have a pinned comment i pinned this comment because i wanted people to just be clear about what was happening i, I didn't want to like hide it or dance around it i'm a very blunt person so i i don't like beat around the bush if something happens i own it if something happens i'm just like as black and white as possible to, probably to a point where it's just brash and stupid to me but i don't really care that's how i am 
All right, so Walter Christie, I think I've actually done very wrong by this person. So I want to take this little second here to extend a very sincere apology to Walter Christie. If they're even still around, I think they probably like unsubscribed and they hate my guts forever now. And nothing I can say or do is going to change that. But regardless, I would still just like to say I'm sorry to Walter Christie. So here's what they said. Tacho, love you, but you constantly calling Limstella a girl was extremely frustrating. It was like you went out of your way to call them a girl. Yeah, I mean, th that was the joke. <laughs> like I said, I, I did it multiple times on purpose to draw attention to the fact that I'm like making a stupid remark there to make an oxymoron, to make it look like I don't know the correct way to say it, but I do, obviously. All right, ironic since you went on a rat at the beginning of the video about the correct pronunciation of names. Okay, so th that's referring to Guy. His actual name is Gi. I had known his name was Gi prior to that because his Japanese name, the katakana, is spelt Gi. So that's how you pronounce his name is Gi. And also, I doubt anyone knows about like skateboarding or anything like that, but there's a skateboarder called Gi Curry. And he recently dropped a 10 AE on Vert, which is a very big milestone. It's like one of the biggest since Tony Hawk dropped the 900. I used to love the Tony Hawk games on PlayStation back in the day. But yeah, that, that's just like one little thing there. I'm still going to call him Guy, by the way. I'm not going to stop calling him Guy, even though I know it's Gee. Because people are free to just do whatever they want and think whatever they want and say whatever they want. Unless you're hurting other people's feelings, which is why I decided to make this video because apparently I said something that hurt a lot of people and that's not what I meant to do. All right, so Shadow says facts. By the way, I liked and hearted every video. The, the reason why I do that is just to show that I've read the comment. Not necessarily to say I agree or condone any of the opinions being said. I just like just to let you guys know I've read your comment. Even if I don't reply to it, I always give it a like and a heart. All right, Clara Felix says, I was very much bothered by this as well. Thank you for pointing that out, Walter. And we are exactly in Pride Month. Heck, that hurts. Oh, I'm... All right, me, I'm just, dude, I'm a little old dude who plays Fire Emblem Heroes <laughs> on YouTube. I, I'm not aware of things that are going on. Like, politically, I, I'm in the dark. I try to stay away from that stuff as much as possible because it's a big pain in the neck, honestly. Limstella is genderless and their body isn't male or female. It's on the very wiki. So the character Limstella is a morph created from the quintessence of Sonia by the character Nurgle. You can take that however you want. She's essentially intended to be a puppet used for destruction and Nurgle's purposes. Very evil guy, Nurgle. <laughs> Still waiting on him to be added to the game, but... Limstella is not really a person. She's like a puppet person. I'm not going to go into any politics on that. Like, does a puppet person have a right to choose gender or whatever? No, that, that's... We're not going to go into that. That's like a whole other conversation that I am absolutely not qualified to talk about. All right, we have Mr. Toonlick here. Imagine getting frustrated because someone didn't use a literal who character's pronouns. Okay, um... There's a lot of comments here actually like coming to my defense and I, I appreciate that guys. I really do But you got to look at it from the people who were offended's perspective in this case and They they didn't find the joke funny and they're not laughing. So You're just like pushing salt in the wound, which I don't condone again though Thank you for coming to my defense, but trust me man. I can handle my own business <laughs> And I, I don't really need help. I don't really ask anyone for help so just let it go man <laughs> just drop it all right walter christie says i replied to another comment saying it was on purpose and laughing about okay hold on and then that was enough for him to subscribe so let me see if i can find the comment it was over on this video let's see here all right so right here so i believe this is the comment that he was talking about so, Limstella is genderless, by the way. She has no gender. So, if you were wondering what gender she has, she has no gender, guys. Yeah, I said it as many times as possible just to drive home the oxymoron. The example that I use, we'll get to my comment later, but it's going to make sense. 
He calls Limstella a she three times anyway. And I'm like, yeah, that's the joke. It's not funny anymore now that I had to explain it in such detail. So I'm never going to do this joke again. Although that's like, that really hurts me because I love oxymorons. And I'm not allowed to do oxymorons anymore, really, just because the, the two things that I'm talking about, like the two words that are contradictory in the oxymoron are not really supposed to be part of the joke. <laughs> but maybe I should just be more aware of what words I'm actually saying. So again, I apologize for that, like me just being a dunce. All right, so here's my comment. I only made one comment. I'm not really going to comment anymore. I, Dude, I, I have more pressing matters to attend to than like getting into a YouTube comment section argument here. But this is what I said. I'm sorry, didn't expect it to get that type of reaction. I really didn't, guys, honestly. It was supposed to be a joke, like how those flat earthers claim they have followers all around the globe. <laughs> This shit had me dying, man. When they said that, there was like this interview with a guy who supports the flat earth the theory. And he said they have like members all around the globe. Not even realizing the contradictory oxymoron that he said there. So people were pointing and laughing at him. <laughs> and th that's the intention that I wanted with this joke here. You're supposed to point and laugh at me. And not like look at your own gender in some other kind of light than you normally do all right so if you were offended my bad again my bad like I, I didn't mean to hurt anyone's feelings i'm probably still gonna keep doing it though because the joke is too easy to not make i'm an easy joke maker if a joke is easy i'm gonna keep doing it but i think i'm actually gonna retire this one honestly like I, it's not worth the hassle and also now that i've had to explain it so in depth it's just not funny anymore but it's meant to make me look incompetent as opposed to making anybody upset with a laughing, crying emoji there just to drive home that I'm not trying to hurt feelings or offend anybody. So there you guys go. That That's the intent. As clear as day, I can't make this more obvious than it already is. All right, and then I, I'm not going to read like more people come to my defense because they're going to come off as like hurtful to the people that were hurt by the joke. And that's not what we want to do. All right, so Walter Christie says, you were so preoccupied with whether or not you could, you didn't stop to think if you should. That is correct. I didn't think about that. I oftentimes don't think too much on things that I say, which I should probably do more often. Just food for thought in the future. I appreciate the attempt to apologize, though. Well, here's another apology, man. I've <laughs> said it many times. Also to other people who were offended, like Clara Felix, etc., I think that's a good enough place to wrap up there. I, I think I've said what I needed to say. Tried to clear the air on this a little bit. Oh, b by the way, I have this app that turns dislikes back on for YouTube videos. And this one shows two dislikes. But a as we've seen already, the video has way more dislikes than that. We're at 13. So this app is bogus. <laughs> if you guys get... It's like a browser app that sets the dislike ratio back on. And it does not work at all. I've had videos with zero dislikes show up as having like 10 dislikes. So yeah, whoever made this app, you suck. <laughs> your, your algorithm for the app is not accurate whatsoever. All right, but that's pretty much all I have to say. I hope anyone who is offended by the joke is seeing things from my perspective now. I'm trying to see things from your perspective as well. If you want, you can go ahead and leave a comment on this video and let me know like what way did you see the joke when I said it? Because, like, the way that I intended it, I, I'm pretty sure you didn't see it in that same way. So I want to know, like, what were your thoughts when I said the joke? Like, wh why did you get so upset and why are you so angry? Maybe that way I can understand, like, where you're coming from, see your point of view a little bit better. And just one final thing. <laughs> I really never wanted to do drama videos, but... Like, my channel, you guys know me. I just talk about the game, Fire Emblem Heroes or whatever other game I'm playing. I just wanted to strictly keep it gameplay-based. I never wanted to get into politics, never wanted to get into drama. None of that stuff. I feel like it's very low-quality type of video to make. But we're addressing drama in House Tacho here, so I feel like we should probably clear the air on this. And I... 
Honestly, like genuinely, I did not want to monetize this video, but I did anyway. And the reason why is because I've had this happen in the past where I've set a video to not be monetized and then YouTube will go behind my back and turn the monetization on. So and then they'll take like all of the cut. They'll take all the monetization from the video and they, they won't give me a slice of the pie either. So this is like a middle finger to YouTube. I'm, I'm not going to let them have their way. I'm just going to leave the monetization on. Also, I would just look like a complete ass if I turned it off. And then I said in the video somewhere that I turned it off. And then people click on the video and there's ads popping up everywhere. That would be all on YouTube, not on me. And I, I don't really want to make myself look any worse. So I'm just going to leave the monetization on. But that's all I wanted to talk about, guys. Once again, I hope this cleared the air. And I hope if you're upset at me, you're free to be upset at me. I can't, like, change your mind. People are free. I, we li I live in America, at least. So <laughs> your opinion is yours and no one can change it. So just be strong with that. And you're free to hate me for the rest of your life. But I, I just wanted to say sorry. So that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed the apology. I don't know who would enjoy this video other than, like, diehard Tasho fans. If you're out there and you're a diehard Tasho fan, then thank you very much for the support. But that's all, so take care, guys, and I'll catch y'all again on the flip side.